Hi, I'm Tasha Hoyt with Sassy Style Redesign, and I love to come and share tips, tricks, and ideas on how to turn your house into a home. And today I'm going to talk about chalkboard art. Chalkboard art is really big right now. It's a really hot trend, and there's some tips and things that I've learned that can make this look make this whole process easier and get you the result that you want. So I want to share those with you and draw a little bit and we'll become really good chalkboard friends. So a cup first tip is use cheap chalk. You don't need to go buy super expensive chalk. Just good old cheap chalk from Walmart or Target works really well. Um, now a lot of people when you go to restaurants you will see awesome chalkboards but they use this really cool pen called the chalk ink pen. And you can get these at Walmart, or not at Walmart, I'm sorry, on Amazon or at school supply stores. And these are great if you're going to draw on something that you're not going to erase a lot. So for the chalkboards in my home, this wouldn't really work. Um, but for um, like a more permanent piece, these are perfect. Like if you're going to draw on labels or something, this works really well. Um, the reason why I say that is because this is so much easier to write with, but it will kind of leave a ghost effect. So you just kind of got to make sure you use the right tool for the right um, project. So I do love these and they come in all kinds of colors. And so they're make, they make writing on chalkboards really easy. And then the tip I've found to chalkboard success is a sharpener. Like this is the makeup sharpener. I just picked it up from Walmart. It was under $2 and they have the regular size hole and then they have the big one. And the big hole fits a piece of chalk perfectly. And when you sharpen a piece of chalk is what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a thinner tip to work with. So when you have this thinner tip, um, you can draw smaller lines and get into more detail. So that's awesome. So uh, makeup sharpener is a must in my book. Okay, and you, um, I use Q-tips a lot, so I just have them by so I can just erase a little part. And then the best eraser that I've found, I really like just cotton t-shirts that I've cut up. And they work the best. They don't leave like a cottony residue or anything, so they work well. Also, I've heard that like 100% wool felt works as well. So now that I've told you all my tricks, I'm going to share, I'm going to draw for you. So, um... When you pick something to write on your chalkboard, consider the size of your chalkboard first. And I know this kind of seems like a duh, I already know that, but um, some t I have a really long chalkboard in my house, like this, uh, this is the picture of it, and I love it, and it can have a lot of words on it, but it takes a long time to draw. So consider the size when you consider your quote that you're gonna put on it. So today I'm just gonna do happy birthday and I already penciled it on just in my regular handwriting. If you don't like your handwriting, you can totally print something off from the computer and you could trace it if you want to. But I don't have a problem with mine. So um, I'm gonna show you some shadowing effects um, and some things with that. So I like to take a small piece of chalk and turn it on its side so I can get that shadowed effect. So, and the main thing you need to remember with chalkboard is if you hate it, it's okay because you can erase it because I don't like that. And if you get the chalkboard wet and why it's still wet, you draw on it, you'll get a different, it will look a little bit different. So I will draw the Y here and show you that it's not, it just kind of looks a little, um, faded. So this is the chalk with the tip. So I can fill it in. Okay, the next tip that I want to encourage you to do is to add some embellishment. So a banner or a star or some hearts or some curly cues can add some fun dimension to your piece. So I'm going to eyeball.
another thing that you can do that's fun is you can um, shade in pieces. So where I just did a banner, I'm just going to shade it in. Or you could stripe it or polka dot it or whatever you want. So I'm going to just add a little bit of detail. So I'm going to draw like some presents because it's a birthday thing. That's a reason why I love chalkboards is because they are so fun to change. So if you have a holiday or a birthday, my girls always feel extra special when I write on the chalkboard for them. Oh, I forgot to mention how you make a chalkboard. If you don't have a chalkboard, that's kind of an important thing if you want to draw on a chalkboard. <laughs> so my go-to when I make a chalkboard is Annie Sloan chalk paint. And I've talked about that before. The reason why I like this is because um, with regular chalkboard paint that's made by rust or any other brand, it has to cure for 24 hours before you can draw on it. Well, Annie Sloan's, you don't have to do that. So just because I'm an impatient crafter, that's the whole thing with me. And I forgot to mention that you need to season your board. So just like where I shaded in right here with the side of the chalk, you're gonna wanna do that before you draw anything. Just put it all over the board and then you'll erase it. And that will make sure that you don't get the ghosting effect. So I have a tutorial on my blog that will give you some of these tips again in case you forget. And I love chalkboard art, so I always have something up and I try to do something different every time. So I hope I've inspired you to look at chalkboards in a new light and maybe you'll hang one up in your home. <laughs>